This is the Canisius College Halftime Show brought to you by Subway, and this is part two of two as we visit with our four departing seniors on the Canisius women's basketball team. Sunday, today, on Senior Day, we have Jen Lennox and Jen Morabito joining us. Welcome to the Halftime Show. Thanks for taking the time. So much left still to accomplish, but at this time of year, we'll start with you, Jen Lennox. What's going through your mind? Well, you know, last two games, it's kind of a bittersweet moment right now. Um, just thinking, playing strong, finishing off my basketball career in a good spot. And where are you at, Jen Morabito? I mean, the, the finish line is in sight, but obviously you got some big goals ahead of you. Have you even had a chance to reflect on your career right now? I mean, I was actually just thinking about this, talking with uh, my parents. Like, we have so much going on between planning where we want to be next year that it's important that we take time to really take this weekend in and... I mean, it's our last weekend here, last home weekend with the girls. Are you worried about, Jen, are you worried about not having a, not enjoying it because you're focused so much on the hard work that goes into preparing for, for every basketball game? Not enjoying what, the end yeah. of the, my career? The senior, the senior weekend festivities. No, I'm, I'm going to embrace every moment. I'm going to really remember just the little things, like even in warm-up, high-fiving girls, just the little things, cheering on the bench. Like I'm just gonna take it all in and play with all that I got. That I got. Hey, by the way, while I'm thinking of it, can I get a high five on Sunday when you guys get introduced as a starting lineup? You make it over to me and give me a high Absolutely. five. Absolutely. All right, sounds good. So we got that in the bag. Now we can move on. What have you learned about yourself through these four years? Wow. Um. And from high school to now, I like I don't really even remember the person that. Um, I came in as, I mean, we learned so much about what we want to do with our lives, who we are, who our friends are. I mean, I went from um, a marketing undergrad and then I switched to health and human performance master's program and just realizing what your passions are and what you want to do in life um, and really just going for them. Do you have a career path in mind? What, when you take that major, what type of profession are you looking to get into? Um, not exactly sure. Um, I know I want to work with people and, and help them reach the goals that they um, aspire to, to get to, whether it's exercise or nutrition. Um, but yeah, just, just helping people. And Jen, you're, you're looking to get into teaching, right? Correct. At what particular grade or subject or, that you have in mind? Ideally, I'd like to teach grade two, but I'm willing to go middle school math. I love math, and I like teaching kids math. So She loves doing math <laughs> all the time. <laughs> you don't hear that every day. But and drawing. You know, we could use a stats person if you're going to state. Never mind. So <laughs> what have you learned about yourself through your, your time here at Canisius? Well, I've learned quite a bit about myself, actually. Um, I've learned to overcome a lot of things that used to hold me back, like meeting new people, um, just being myself all the time, not caring what others think of me. And I did switch from um, pre-med to education because I knew I just loved kids and I wanted to teach the youth. So that's what I decided to follow and I really do love it. Jen, what advice do you have for someone coming into Canisius? It might, maybe not even playing basketball, but a f think about a, a, a young lady starting college next year as a freshman here at Canisius, whether she's playing basketball or not. Do you have any advice to give? I would say get involved with as much as possible. Meet as many people as you possibly can because that's what really makes this experience great is meeting people. Jen, I'm going to put you on the spot. What was your most memorable game? You're moving um, me oh, Bye. yeah. Well, I mean, we, the, the times we've traveled to Binghamton, uh, they were great, all my family there and friends, but um, I'd have to say the Cornell game my freshman year. Um, a bunch of my friends got together and they surprised me <laughs> um, and, and showed up and um, I had a good game there. And so it was just just overwhelming to see that they all showed up and um, just to watch me in, in college. And Jen, do you have a, Jen Lennox, I should say, do you have a, a game that stands out in your mind? I'm trying to think of one, but I think there's just too many little moments in games that are just great, like the half court shot the alley-oop by Durham to me at the Niagara game. Um, there's just so many. I don't think I have a favorite game. Half-court shot's my favorite game, just in case you were, <laughs> you were curious. <laughs> All right, one, la one opportunity now to uh, say some thank yous, actually. Uh, last question we have, and uh, we'll start with Jen Lennox. Do you have anyone you'd like to thank? 
Um, there's actually a lot of people I'd like to thank. Um, it's only a five minute segment. Oh. Okay. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I guess I'll thank my parents. You know, they've always been there for me, supporting me, coming to every home game, always listening to me complain on the phone for hours on end. Um, and the coaches, and especially the team, you know, they really have become my second family for four years, which has been really great. Jed Morabito, some thank yous, some acknowledgments. Um, you keep moving back. Oh, too. okay. I well, I, I want. <laughs> um, I mean, I have to start with my parents. Um, <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, yeah, they've always been there. <clears throat> And, um, and supported me um, just to, sorry. Think of it as practice for your banquet speech. Yeah. It's all practice for the banquet speech right now. Um, you yeah. haven't thanked me yet. And you, oh, yes, yeah. for, being, for being there um, all our games. Um, yeah, my parents always been there, my family, um, my sister, dad, always going to every game. Um, yeah, and the coaches as well. Um, and especially, you know, the girls, what Jen said, like they're our family here for these past four years. Yep. Thank you so much. <laughs> Congratulations on fantastic careers. Still a lot left to accomplish, but you've, I've watched you two grow um, uh, from your freshman year to your senior year, and I'm tremendously proud of you. Thank you so much for taking the time on the Halftime Show. Best of luck. Thank you for having us. Thank you. All right, some thoughts on the first half after this on the Golden Griffin Broadcast Network.